Thank you, Lord. Father, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb, hallelujah, Lord Jesus, hallelujah to the great shepherd, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord Jesus, you are the great shepherd to God, I've been thankful to God for thy voice, O oh Lord, Amen, Father. Hallelujah. and look unto us this flock, O oh Lord Jesus, this little flock of yours, O oh Lord Jesus. Amen, oh we do want to hear your word, O oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Help us, Almighty oh Father, to anoint our ears, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Anoint our hearts, O oh Lord Jesus. Amen, oh Father. Help us, O oh God Jesus, that you'll be the great shepherd who will protect Amen, us, O oh Lord Jesus. Oh Amen, oh Father. From the walls of the enemy, O oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. From the fire darts of the devil, O oh Jesus. Hallelujah. And we claim, O oh God, for the victory, O oh Lord Jesus, for you are keeping us unto thy fold, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, we praise you, Lord Jesus, for this victory. Another day, O oh Lord, that you have given us, O oh Lord, to keep standing in this holy ground, O oh Lord Jesus, in your green pasture, O oh Lord Jesus. O oh Heavenly Father, we need, O oh God, a fresh man, O oh Lord. The food to our soul, O oh Lord. The water of your life in our midst, O oh Lord, to water in our hearts, O oh Lord Jesus. Cleanse us, O God, by the water of your word, O Lord. O Heavenly Father, we need, O God, a sanctifying blood to be pouring out once more in this place, O Lord. In this holy ground, O Lord, in this little building of yours, O Lord Jesus. This mystical church of yours, O living God. O hallelujah, Lord Jesus, we are offering, O Father, this humble service of yours. This you see, your ministry that you've given us, O Lord. This is for your glory, O Lord Jesus. This is for your throne and mercy, O oh Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We've been thankful, O oh God, in Jesus, for this privilege, O oh Lord. 
Our privilege, O oh Lord, to keep sitting in this holy place, O oh Lord. Sitting with you, Lord, in the throne of grace and mercy. I've been thankful, Lord Jesus, for keeping us, O oh God, to be your bride. The bride of this last age, O oh Lord. And Heavenly Father, we need to God to your revelation in our midst. Revelation of your word in hearts. That we keep living, O oh God, by your word. Let our path, O oh God, unto you, O oh Lord Jesus, as we are welcoming, O oh God, the Holy Spirit in our midst, O oh Lord. Pour down in our midst, O oh Lord Jesus. Bring our spirit into the dimension, O oh Lord, that we may hear, O oh God, your press man of your life, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, we are seeking, O oh God, for a privilege, for eminence in our midst, O oh Lord. Extend, O oh God, the blessings for our families, O oh Lord. For our brethren and sisters who are not around, O oh Lord Jesus. This is your God for your glory. We need, O oh God, your word, O oh God, to be manifested in our time, O oh Lord. Manifesting, O oh God, in this place, O oh Lord. Manifesting in our hearts, O oh Lord Jesus. That we project, O oh God, your glory. O oh Heavenly Father, this is a blessing that we are seeking, O oh God, for our brethren and sisters, O oh Lord, and live streaming, O oh Lord. Let, O oh God, the channel for understanding, O oh Lord, to be opening, O oh God, in our hearts, O oh Lord. Search us, O King, for you are the great provider, you are the great keeper in us, O oh Lord. You are the great shepherd in our midst, O oh Lord. And this is, O oh God, your little plug in this place, O oh Lord. Keep us into the fold, O oh Lord, that we glorify the holy name. This is for your glory, O oh God. O oh, Heavenly Father, we have our brethren who are sick in our midst, O oh Lord. We are needy people, O oh Lord Jesus. We need, O oh God, your healing touch once more, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, you are the great Almighty King, the great Jehovah Jireh, the great Jehovah Rapha. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, we need you, Lord, to come down in our midst, O oh Lord. Us, our heart, O Lord, and give us, O God, the strength and faith, O God, that you are delivered once unto the saints, O Lord. We are earnestly contending, O God, for their faith, O God. This is your faith that you have given us, O Lord Jesus. And let it grow in our hearts, O Lord, as we are claiming, O God, for the word sit in our hearts, O Lord. This is for your mighty name. We glorify you, magnify your holy name, O Lord, and mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Who is blessed this morning? Amen. Can you give your best clap to the Lord? Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I want to say good morning again also to our uh, brother and sister uh, watching our uh, live streaming. Good morning, and uh, can we sing uh, one more song again before I call our uh, uh, song leader? The Spirit of God's Word. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank you, Lord. It works. It's right. Just how I feel inside. I write the song concerning my dear Lord. The words will be me to ever and glorify the one that I adore. That my words should not be saved, was why you bore our shame. Oh, praise you, why you made the light.
Haleluya. Amen. Blessed be unto you, brethren, for making it to the house of the Lord. It's another day the good Lord has granted unto us. Greetings to our live, uh, uh, online viewers as well. You mean so much to us, and we love you as well. As the song say, the Spirit of God's Word. Thinking about the contents of the world, it makes you and I to know how the good Lord loves us. I want to read a quote from the message, Love. Brother Bram said, Divine love is one of the most, uh, most powerful forces. It's one of the greatest forces in the world. And when the lo uh, divine love has been projected and comes to its end, then sovereign grace will take its place. Now, that, that's my test. When divine love has been projected, project divine love and it comes to its end, till it goes no further. And the divine love was projected, which brought grace unto you and I. That the good Lord called you and I. How lovely it is. There is nothing we can give in honor by worshiping him. And I would like you and I to, 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 to you, I would like you to join me in praising and worship the Almighty God. He means so much to us than any other thing. Blessing such love.
and religion. Let's start with the chorus. Give it that old time raging. Give it that old time raging. It's good enough for me. Live here the same, there will be a change, yes, because the word of God made us know that the word of God doesn't come and goes empty, it comes to do something and it will work on your soul, amen. Let's sing, Heal of, of my heart. He is the great shepherd that knows the food for our soul, and He is the one that has answered to every need. And today he will repair your heart for you as well. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, before we sit down, uh, can we sing uh, one more song uh, to greet our uh, brother and sister? Oh, I love you with the love of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 5, 1 to 3. To the chief musician upon Nehilot, the psalm of David, give, give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto their will I pray. My voice shall thou hear in the morning, O Lord, in the morning will I Direct my prayer unto thee, and I will look up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Healing of Sister Rodilit from Ovarian Sis. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Healing of Sister Giselle Manalo from Comatos, niece of Brother Manny. Amen. Hallelujah. Healing of Brother Jeremiah from Rases, son of Brother Bong. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Good medical result of Brother Francis. Amen. Hallelujah. Healing of Brother Nelson, Sister Mary, and Sister Naomi from Cold and Flu. Hallelujah. Approved student visa of Brother Jude in Singapore. Hallelujah. Safe travel of Sister Ao from the Philippines. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so good. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh my. Hallelujah. We have a happy birthday. Greetings. Birthday greetings in uh, Psalm 37 for delight thyself, thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh my. Sister Esther. Uh, sister wife of brother promise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
Brother Amos, hallelujah. October 13, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now we don't have any new brethren. So we'll go to the, our uh, testimony. Who is blessed this uh, past week? Amen. Can you give your... Uh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you can you raise your hands if you have a testimony or a song uh, offering to the Lord? Because we don't have paper here. Uh, every day of our life is uh, God will bless us in our in our work. When you wake up in the uh, in the morning, the breath that you are uh, breathing. It's coming from the Lord. Amen. So you need to to thanks Him. Hallelujah. So we don't have any pap uh, any brother. Maybe Brother Nestor is ready. <laughs> Hallelujah. Brother Nestor is ready always. And Brother Vong. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to ready always. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. God. Amen. Amen. Just to be in the service is, Amen. All, is, all, is already a blessing from God. You Hallelujah. Know? We cannot come here if God uh, did not uh, allow us to come here. Amen. So we Hallelujah. must be very thankful and give, uh, and, and give glory to Him every service that, that uh, we offer unto Him. So Hallelujah. this morning, even if our brother, Brother Taruk, is still there working, we, we are praying that... Uh, uh, he may receive the same blessing that we are uh, receiving this morning. Amen. So, uh, because of that, we are uh, giving an offering, so an offering to the Lord, uh, and the title is Brother Boom will give. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Brother Money. Oh, my. Oh. Amen. 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 Brother Boom will give. Amen. Uh, a heart Hallelujah. that will never break again. Amen. Amen. <laughs> This song, I remember Brother Bong always uh, uh, playing this in our room. And uh, every time this uh, song starts to, to play, Brother Taruk, Brother Bong, and me always sing together. Amen. But this morning, because Brother Taruk is not here, we are praying. I know that Brother Taruk is watching. Because every service, even if he is not in our presence, he is also watching. He's always, uh, he's always watching the service. Every service when he is absent, when he is not uh, in our presence. So because of this, uh, we will be offering this song, uh, A Heart That Will Never Break Again. That's the title of our song. Amen. Amen. Spits high, and the tears fill up the wrinkles on his face as I hear this weather and his smile and whisper, Son, I'm going to live in a better place. For my dwelling and the strength. 
streets of gold will run by my front door. And all the eyes of the blind will then be open, oh my. And the joy and the victory march with the lane. And the dead who's never heard the road. Thunder, will rejoice to hear the red Savior on His name. Amen. And have eyes that will never feel with teardrops. I have legs that will never ache with pain. And a heart that will never break again And have eyes that will never fill with teardrops I'll have legs that will never ache with pain God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Very nice song. Oh, oh. legs with ache pain. That one from, from Brother Dodo. <laughs> you put in my mind, Brother Dodo. <laughs> he is already uh, healed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. See, yes, amen. Hallelujah. So, is next. We want to make a testimony. Uh, but they promise. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. God bless you, saints of God. Are you happy to be in his presence this morning? bless you. Uh, sorry for that little adjustment. Uh, amen. I have a song I want to sing this morning. Uh, the mic is still. Amen. The devil is a liar. I must sing my song this morning. Amen. <laughs> I'm going to praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory. So, um, the title of my song is Your Grace and Mercy. Could you pull it up on the screen? It's among the songs. Amen. Uh, actually, this month, it's uh, my second year of marriage. And, uh, oh, hi. <laughs> Amen. The same, uh, the, the same month my wife is born and... Uh, I thank God for his grace and mercy in my life. Hallelujah. And in Amen. our lives. And uh, it's been his grace all this while. It's not been our power. Amen. Amen. And uh, I want to sing this song to him and, and uh, say that it's the grace of God that's been uh, keeping us all these years. Amen. And I believe his grace will lead us through. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I pray the song is going to be a blessing. <laughs>
Let's all uh, stand and then we will give us an offering to the Lord. Hallelujah. Blesser of blessing. Peace. 
love offering prayer. Can I call uh, Brother Dennis? Give us our uh, offering prayer. Shall we please pray? Oh, gracious Sovereign Father, the Creator of heaven and earth, the Alpha and the Omega, that you once again we thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We thank you for everything, Lord. We thank you for this blessing, Lord. We thank you for this gathering, Lord. We thank you for this meeting, Lord. It's by your grace, O Lord. It's not our own strength, O Lord. Not by our smartness, O Lord. It's by your grace that you are called upon us to meet in this of this under your feet, O Lord. Father, you have given us on this offering, Lord. So that to be offered unto your name for your work, O Lord, to be progressed, O Lord. Father, not by the progress of the church, O Lord. Father, to fetch your the lost ones, O oh Lord, that have not known you to come into under your faith, O oh Lord. For that, Lord, we don't know the time you will be coming, that may be today, tomorrow, or a year, Lord. But for our preparation that the time will come, that we not stand before that judgment, O oh Lord. That's why we can be raptured at the time that the trumpet will be sound, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, we are thankful to your word, O oh Lord. Father, once again, Lord, we pray, commit this meeting to your care, Lord. Commit the service into your care, Lord. We thank you for our pastor here once again, Lord, to form a feeding of the flock, O oh Lord. Father, he cannot do anything without you, O oh Lord. Your, pro- your prophet has spoken it, O oh Lord. He's lying unto your day, O oh Lord. He's a bury unto him, O oh Lord. Father, he's crying, on, crying upon you, O oh Lord. Calling upon your revelation, O oh Lord. Take him out of your way, Lord. Fill him with your spirit, O oh Lord. Fill him with the spirit, O oh Lord. That the word that can change your children, that will be the repentance unto your children, Lord. Father, he cannot do it without you, O oh Lord. He's calling you and low, only you and low, Lord. Father, he's an empty vessel, Lord, but it's calling upon him. Father, the puppet in your heart, O oh Lord, speak through me, O oh Lord, flow him, O oh Lord, may it be blessed to each and every one, O oh Lord, that you say no one come into your presence and go the same. That, Lord, we are trusting you, O oh Lord, that our garden here will not be a faith, will be a purpose, will be a testimony, Lord. But I say, testimony shall not be empty in your heart, O oh Lord, that we need your miracle, we are still existing, O oh miracle. But I came to our heart this woman. Empty us, O oh Lord. Make us empty, O oh Lord. That we shall be fulfilled, O oh Lord. For your coming is near, Lord. We may not be ready to come. But we are lying only in you, O oh Lord. We invite you this morning, O oh Lord. We invite your Holy Ghost and Spirit, O oh Lord. For feelings on everyone, O oh Lord. Every broken heart, O oh Lord. Shall be healed, O oh Lord. That we be thank you, Lord. We thank you once again, Lord. Those who are not able to make it here, Lord. Father, we pray that Lord could be with them. Those who are watching on the live stream, Lord. They are all in your hands, O Lord, Father. Speak through them the same as you pray them, O Lord. The same blessing that we receive, Father, pour unto upon them, O Lord. Father, whatever that we need, weakness or whichever they are, Lord, Father, visit them in a special way, Lord. And let the, let the goodness gathering, Lord, we all come together in one accord, Lord. We thank you, Daddy. We bless you for the word I say, Lord. Whatever that we associate with, Lord, that shall we be, O oh Lord. But we know only you and Lord that we associate with you at this moment and this gathering. We are lying upon you and Lord, not by any mankind, O oh Lord, but the doing of your spirit and doing. Come and take control of others, O oh Lord. Father, we not come in here, we not live the same, O oh Lord. That we will feel, O oh Lord, to testify, Lord, into your word, O oh Lord. We thank you that we bless you, we worship you. In Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before I call our uh, pastor, can we sing uh, one more song? Uh, it uh, says, Pure Heart. Hallelujah.
As we, as we focus on your word, as we focus, oh Father, on the blessings that we are expecting this morning that will come from your word. Bless this church, oh Father. Bless this congregation. Bless the heart of your children, oh Father, this morning that they may offer it unto you fully, full, oh Father, without any hindrances in our hearts, without any disturbance from the devil as we rebuke the works of the enemy in our midst this morning, oh Father. Let all the control be under you as we let your Holy Spirit lead us, oh Father. Hold us, oh Lord, control this service we offer it unto your most precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you happy this morning? Are you happy this morning? <laughs> Hallelujah. And uh, uh, we are so blessed that uh, God is really moving in our midst. Seeing all those answered prayers that uh, we've been praying for so long. Uh, praying for the comatose condition of, uh, of the one of the family of Brother Money. And uh, she just came up from the comatose situation. That was, it's only God who can do that, no one else. Hallelujah. <laughs> we've been praying, we've been praying for the cyst that is existing in Sister Rodelis, and she's been asking for some help and for the prayers, and now she's been cured. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. That's God. <laughs> no one else can do that except the God that, that we serve. That's the life that is in the God that we serve. <laughs> That's manifesting in our midst in, in this age. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, this morning, I would like uh, 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 to talk about uh, the continuation of the subject that we had last week. Were you happy in last week's message? Amen. Hallelujah. It's the restoration of the lost dominion. Restoration of the lost dominion. So this is... Uh, uh, 
continuation of that uh, message last week. So let's uh, open up our scripture in the same verse. It is in Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 to 29. Then she's uh, chapter 1, verses 26 to 28. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. God created man in his own image. When we say he created man in his own image, Hallelujah. he created the spirit man. Amen. Because the image of God is a spirit. So when he created his image, it was a spirit man that he created. So, when, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over all over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the living thing that moveth upon the earth. And this is the word of the Lord, and uh, 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 let us all be seated this morning. Amen. Hallelujah, just uh, for those who were not uh, here last week, uh, and to recall the topic that we have discussed, just want to remind everyone, do you still remember that we discussed about how Adam became God of the earth? So as God was the God of the universe, God, Adam has given the earth, uh, uh, God has given Adam the earth for his dominion, and he became the God of the earth. Are you, are you, uh, do you recall that? <clears throat> so he was given the dominion over the earth and over its creature. And uh, uh, God asked him to be fruitful, to multiply, to replenish, and to subdue the earth. Remember that? So there's an instruction for him that he has to make and he has to fulfill. What are those? That he has to become fruitful, he has to multiply, he has to replenish, and he has to subdue. Fruitful, multiply, replenish, and subdue. It means that there's only a small portion of the earth that was given to Adam that time. And it is up to Adam to continue the work of God. Are you following us? So there's only a small portion, but the rest of the earth, it is Adam's responsibility to do that. What was that? Become, becoming fruitful. Becoming fruitful to multiply, to replenish, and to subdue. <clears throat> and uh, we also talked last time about Lucifer's origin and his plan. And uh, Lucifer's origin is, uh, and his plan is, to, uh, to take over God's position, and he was not successful. That's why when he was sent down uh, to earth, that's the same, that's the same, uh, that's the same uh, 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 vision that he has, the same desires that he has, and the same plan. So since he's seen, he has seen the creation of God, the only purpose for him to, is to take dominion over the creation of God. And that's what he did together with the one-third of the angels that he took with him. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and he became successful. That's right. So he has taken dominion. He has taken the dominion from man. He has robbed the dominion of Adam. And the dominion was transferred to Satan, to Lucifer. Mm -hmm. Remember last week? I'm just, I'm just uh, uh, recalling whatever we have discussed last week. And uh, he succeeded in that dominion. And remember that he became the angel of light. And the angel of artificial light. <laughs> because there was a true light, which is God. But he was an angel of... He became a messenger of the teaching of knowledge. And the teaching of, of uh, man-made revelation. 
the so the seas became an angel of light because it is an angel a messenger of a man made doctrine a man made revelation a revelation that is based on uh, that is based on reason not based on faith because revelation is always based on faith if revelation will be based in reason that is man made it is not of god once it is based in reason if you say that okay i understand that but why it's because that you're looking for reason. But once you see the word of God, the only thing that you have to say is yes, I agree, and amen to that. And that is revelation by faith. And so he brought us revelation by reason. That is a messenger of light. So he, and that's the same thing that he gave to, that's the same thing that he gave to Eve, remember? So he put logic and reason to Eve that she can become God and she could create. She could create things in, in a different way, in a man-made reason. And she believed on it. And that's why we talked about sin. And that sin has made us to become alienated from God. And we became, an enemy, we became enemies in our mind for the wicked works that we do. Remember that? Amen. We became alienated from God because of sin. Uh, and enemies in our mind by the wicked works. <clears throat> Why? It's because Satan has conquered and had a dominion over the earth. So when we say earth, we discuss about the earth and we discuss about how God has cursed the earth instead of Adam. Remember last time we read, curse is the earth for thy sake. So Adam was not cursed, but the flesh of Adam came from the earth. That's why when the earth was cursed, even his flesh was cursed. When the, there were thorns given on the earth, his body was subjected to thorns and subjected to sicknesses and subjected to wounds. Subjected to thorns is because the, the earth was cursed with thorns. Remember that time? <laughs> so when, when he was subjected to, to, to all these things, it's because of uh, he, that uh, Satan has a dominion. When he had a dominion on the earth, he had a dominion on your flesh. And remember that there's another ground that we have. The ground that we have in our mind. It is a normal ground, but when the enemy came, it became a battleground. Remove the enemy, what was it called? It is a ground of your mind. <laughs> Put the enemy in, it became a battleground of your mind. So there's another ground that was subdued by the enemy and he has a dominion on your mind. Remember? And we discuss about what? We discuss about the intercourse of the mind that Brother Branham spoke of. Remember? So this mind, the ground that we have in our mind had an intercourse that he called as the spiritual adultery. So spiritual adultery started in our mind when we had an intercourse with the enemy in our mind. Believing the works and the teaching of man-made teachings rather than believing the pure word of God. And that intercourse happened in our mind. Believing on some doctrines of, of some pastors or some churches rather than believing in the true word of God. And that is the intercourse of the mind. That's the spiritual uh, adultery that we've been doing for so long. So then we know that the original plan of God in Eden, we discussed that as well. That the original plan of God, what? Subdue it, multiply, be fruitful, and replenish. That's the purpose of God. That's why he gave us what? He gave us the rivers. That there was one head river and it is split into four. Remember those rivers? What are those rivers? The river Pison, the, the river Gizon, the river Shidikel, and the river Euphrates. Remember those four rivers that, that, that flowed out so that, it can, that the Garden of Eden can expand throughout the earth. The very purpose of God is to expand that Eden, to expand the Garden of God, replenish the whole earth. And he used those four rivers. The meaning of those four rivers... We said that the meaning of four, those four rivers is what? Pison means increase. Pison means increase. Gison, Gihon means bursting forth. Remember, there is an increase. There is a bursting forth. 
There is rapid, but there's an obsolete meaning of rapid. For shidikel, meaning happy. And then, Euphrates means fruitfulness. Amen. Hallelujah! <laughs> so those four rivers, the very purpose of God, the plan of God is to use those rivers so that it can supply the soil. And supply the ground and to expand Eden. That's the very purpose of God. And once it has expanded and once Adam multiplied his, his children, God will come together with his family. Amen. Remember? Amen. That's, that's the very purpose of God. Always to be with his family from the very beginning. The very purpose of God is to be with his family. But he gave something, assignment to, to Adam that he has to fulfill. He cannot go to this earth that is not subdued yet. He cannot go down to, his, to this earth together with his family if Hedan must not replenish it yet. So there was an instruction for him to do. And we said that the essence of a new birth, since we, the man, has fallen, and this was a, been a, a dominion, this flesh became a dominion of the enemy. And uh, we say that the children, uh, that uh, the essence of a new birth is uh, for children to be, to, to be born true. It's spoken word, remember? Amen. Children to be born to spoken word. the essence of new birth. Why the new birth is there? It's because we are being born through a spoken word. Yes, amen. Rebirth through a spoken word. Whatever the first birth brought us, which is he brought us, uh, he brought us death. And our king was Satan. This, the, flesh, the king of this flesh was Satan. And the new birth, he nullifies the first word that you did that happened on you. So the first word was disqualified. It was nullified. It's no longer existing. More importantly, you have your second birth. Amen. That is what God is looking for. Because that second birth that you have is a spoken word of God. That is, uh, that's the spoken word of God. So, uh, uh, we, and we know that being born, that we, we are not supposed to be born by corruptible seed, but by of incorruptible word of God. Amen. Remember the title did? Amen. Title did. The earth is yours. <laughs> the earth is yours. Aside from the earth, what? The eternal life is yours. So Adam has the dominion of the earth and has eternal life. Amen. When Satan came in and took dominion of the earth, he lost the title did of what? Right. Of the dominion on the earth. And eternal life went back to God. So he lost the title deed of what? Not just the earth itself, but the dominion of the earth. Dominion of the earth on your flesh. Dominion of the earth in your minds. And dominion of your grounds. And dominion of Satan in your soul. That's why when we were born, we were born in sin. That's why all souls have sinned. All souls have sins because when we were born, we were born of sexual act and we were born with a, with a sinful soul. That's right. Because that was already a dominion of the enemy. Because of the sexual act that happened. Are you following me? Amen. So Adam failed to fulfill Genesis 1, 26 and 28. Remember? He failed to fulfill, he failed to subdue, he failed to multiply, he failed to become fruitful, and he failed to replenish it. That's why he lost his holy image. Remember, Brother Branham says that he lost his image, the holy image of God. We also said that Adam was the son of God and was formed in the likeness of God, but the sons of Adam were not in the likeness of God. Because we read in Genesis 5 that the sons of Adam were in the likeness of Adam. The likeness of the sinful Adam. Not in the likeness of God. While God, while Adam was made in the likeness of God. Are you following me? Amen. This is just a summary. <laughs> so the rest of the sons of Adam were made in the likeness and image of the fallen man. So, the, But the seed of God with the sons of Adam, there was always the seed of God as he had his, his, uh, his plan. Remember, 
He has his plan of replenishing the earth. So to replenish the earth and to subdue and to become fruitful and to multiply, the seeds of God were already there before the foundation of the world. There was already a plan of God before the foundation of the world. But he is just letting God, Adam know that time. But once it, come past to it, it, it comes to pass, it means it is just a fulfillment of what has already predestinated. Are you following me? For us to understand predestination, let us open up the book of Romans this time. So in Romans 8, let us just understand it from verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good. So all things work together for good. There it is a conditional statement. It is not a statement for everyone. All things work together for good. To them who are the called, uh, who are the called according to his purpose. If you are not called, things are not working for you for good. <laughs> if you are not called, all things only work to get them to them that are called. So if you are not called, things that are happening is not for your good. However, people are misusing this word and they keep on just saying it to some friends, even if it's not the son of God. Oh, I, I'm in trouble. Oh, you know that all things work together for good. <laughs> but they, they stop it from there, but it is conditional. It says to them, to them uh, who are called according to them that love God, and to them who are called according to his purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. For whom he did foreknow, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate. So predestination there's, a, there's a, a, a first thing that happened for, before predestination. What was that? The foreknowing of God. When we say foreknow, it means it's the foreknowledge of God. Since God is an all-knowing God because He is an omniscient God, so He knows all things that will happen. Because of His knowledge of having the foreknowledge of things, He was able to predestinate things. Are you following me? Because of his foreknowledge of things to come. We keep on drawing this and we keep on putting this illustration for so many times. Hallelujah. Amen. Just uh, to remind everybody again that there was this predestination line. If this line is the time that God predestinates things to all the people. If we say that this is the predestination line. There is one line that is above the predestination line, which is the foreknowledge of God. Because He foreknow all things before He did predestination. Are you following us? This is the omniscience, the omniscient power of God. He is the om omniscient power of God. He is God as the all-knowing God. That's why in Romans 28, uh, in Romans uh, 8, 29, for whom he did foreknow. So there's first the foreknowing. Are you following us? Yeah. Foreknowing and then he did also predestinate to be conformed. So the predestination is the conforming to the image of his son. Are you following me? So predestination is to could be conformed. All those he did for new, he did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. So there is, there is a model image for those people whom he is going to, whom going to predestinate. And that is the image of his son. Are you following? That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them... He did, he also called, and whom he called, he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Predestination of God. So there was a predestination that happened. There was a predestination that happened. So predestination was done because God knows that Adam will fall. 
He knows that Adam will fall. So when he started predestinating things, he started putting up seeds in the future. It's because he knew that Adam will fall. So the very purpose of the predestination, the predestination is meant to be that the that the uh, that needs to be that the seed that needs to be here on earth in the first place. Are you following me? <laughs> Are you following? <laughs> Remember, this is the earth that he has to subdue. This was the garden that was given to Adam. So he has to subdue all, and he has to multiply, and he has to become fruitful. However, the rivers were flowed throughout the earth. The four rivers, remember? Yes. How, but this was just given to Adam, but his mission is to subdue all. But because God knows that he will fall, he started putting up the seeds that is supposed to be there from the very beginning. <laughs> that is the predestination of God. He already put up all the seeds. It's because that he knows that he will fall. Are you still following me? <laughs> So, what we're saying is that predestination is meant to be for those seeds that needs to be here on earth in the very first place. The purpose of Adam that was not fulfilled. That's why predestination happened. That's why predestination happened because Adam failed. Are you following me? <laughs> Hallelujah. So, not everyone... Uh, who were born on this earth has the seed of God. Not everyone that was born on this earth. However, since Adam was born, uh, uh, the, the, the sons of Adam uh, were born and they became a true natural birth, they became sinful. So not everyone has seed. So both were born almost exactly the same. Nobody knows who has the seed except God. Nobody knew who has the seed except God. So these seeds that were given all over the all over the earth through predestination of God. True. I hope you follow me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh when sin came, those people who were burned through natural birth were not, uh, they're not all his sons. As the sexual birth came through the process of the will of man. It is the will of the flesh, remember? Yes. Sexual birth is a will of the flesh. Right. It is not the will of God. Yes. Will of God, there's no lust, but sexual birth, you need lust. That's why the reproduction that happened during his time is not the will of man, not the will of God, but it is the will of man. It is the will of the flesh. So this process came through the will of the flesh, and it is not of God that natural birth. And uh, that's why uh, what we're saying is that God knows those people who will be born with a seed, and those who will not be born with a seed. So. There are some people who were born without the seed itself. If these people were born without seed, that is the cause of the fall of man. Are you following us? However, these people with seed, they were... That, that is their condition. They have the seed, but they were born as a sinful man. Are, are you following me? They have the seed, but they were born in a sinful flesh. And time will come that those seeds will manifest at the perfect season and time of God. Only at the perfect season and time of God will that seed manifest. Hallelujah. So, if you will notice that during the temptation of Job... Uh, go go up and open up uh, the, the job num uh, verse 38. And that's the time that God started replying to Job. After Job hears all the things that all his friends were telling him. And he started having some questions in his mind. And God started replying to Job. In Job 38, 
Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee, and answer thou me. Where wast thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if thou hast understanding. So what Job, what God is telling Job is he's bringing Job back to the very beginning of the history of creation. He's bringing back Job, letting him know who he is from the very beginning. What his position was in God from the very beginning. That Job was burned in a sinful flesh, but he has the seed of God. Born was, Job was born in a sinful flesh, but he has the seed of God. And who had laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest, or who had stretched the line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened, or who laid the cornerstone thereof? When the morning stars sang, when the morning stars sang, and all, and all the sons of God, <laughs> and all the sons of God shouted for joy. All the sons of God, not one, not two, not three, all the sons of God shouted for joy from the very beginning the sons of God was already in God's mind shouting for joy was already in the mind of God shouting for joy he didn't saw them crying he didn't say that from the beginning I saw that but the sons of God crying I saw the sons of God murmuring I saw the sons of God begging for healing. He didn't say, I saw the sons of God rejoicing. I saw the sons of God receive and shouting. I saw the sons of God joyful. I saw the sons of God. I have seen that whatever you're doing right now, I have seen that. Sons of God, are you praising God right now? I have seen the sons of God praising in my mind. I have seen the sons of God raising their hands. I have seen the sons of God. I have seen the sons of God. All the sons of God. I have seen all the sons of God becoming victorious. On this earth, all the sons of God I have seen. It was already there. Whatever you're doing, you're just doing it. It happened. It already happened. It already happened. Whatever you're doing right now, it already happened. Hallelujah. He saw you clapping right now. You're doing it because he saw that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He saw the sons of God shouting out the temptations. He saw the sons of God shouting. Enjoy, enjoy, rejoicing on the healing. <laughs> He's shouting over your weaknesses, shouting over your trials, shouting in victory. He has seen it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And when did these things happen? Before the foundation of the world. <laughs> when did this thing happen? In his born age. In his mind. 
the mind of God. Amen. Everything happened in the mind of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So you became just an expression of his thoughts. You became an expression of his eternal thoughts. Hallelujah. In John 17. In John 17. This is now Jesus Christ talking. And he said, Father. John 17, verse 5. He said, Father. Glorify thou me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Glorify thou me. Jesus Christ on earth. Telling Jesus Christ, telling Father, O oh, Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Remember, Christ just came out and he was also in the mind of God, together with the glory of God. And right now, you were also in the mind of God. If you were with God, you have the same glory with God. And you can also cry unto the God, Father, glorify thou me right now. Glorify thou me with the glory which I had with you before the foundation of the world. You were part of the glory of God. You were part of the glory of God. And when you came out of this world, you were, uh, you were exposed to all the sins and to all the fall of man. But you were part of that glory that was in the Father before. <laughs> Are you seeing it, bride? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Christ asking the Father to glorify him. And the sons of God who was with the Father together with his glory before. You can always say, Father, glorify me. Together with that glory that I have when I was with you before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Not the sinners. Don't tell yourself that you are sinners. Not with the lives of the enemy. There is no power that the enemy it is not going to happen. Because you are more powerful than the enemy right now. You are more powerful than that enemy. <laughs> Hallelujah. He has not seen you a sinner. He has not seen you as a liar. He never saw you as an adulterer. He never saw you as a drunkard. He never seen you as a sinner. But he saw you as the sons who are rejoicing. He saw you as the sons. <laughs> Praising God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 This message is not just a simple message. This is a message of the bride of this last day. You will never hear any other message. You will never hear any other message than what has been given to this generation. Than what has been brought 
by the prophet of this age. No other message. Hallelujah. It is a message of rapture. A message of transformation. A message of body change. A message that will bring you back to your origin. <laughs> to your lost dominion. <laughs> Bringing back the power to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Aren't you happy? <laughs> so predestination is for the sons of God. The sons of God with the germ seed to be here on the earth in the first place. With the germ seed only. If you don't have the germ seed, this earth is not for you. <laughs> because this earth was given to the sons of God with the germ seed of God. That's the plan of God. To manifest his sons and daughters on this earth. Hallelujah. So God thought what happened with us right now. His, uh, Brother Branham told us, let's open up the message of uh, who is this Melchizedek. Now we see the attribute, sons of his spirit. So becoming son of his spirit, the spirit man, the attribute of God, have not yet entered into this, into the word form body. Had not entered into the word form body. When we say word form body, it is the spoken word God. Do we have the spoken word body yet? Not yet. We haven't had because we still have this flesh that is the having the dominion of the devil and the enemy. So now we see the attribute sons of his spirit have not yet entered into the word form body, but a theophany. But a theophany, this body is subject to the word and earnest, waiting for the earnest change of the body. Okay? So there is there's this longing for us to have the body change because of the theophany of the spirit. Well, remember the preaching of Brother Ray last time? That the theophany is just around, nearby. So this is already longing. For the change of the body. Now the difference between him and you as a son. See, he was at the beginning the word. We're talking about Christ. And in morphe body, he came in and lived in that. In the person of Melchizedek. Then later we never heard no more of Melchizedek. Because he became Jesus Christ. Melchizedek was the priest. But he became Jesus Christ. Now you bypass that. You bypass what? The attribute of God, the sons of God, the sons of the Spirit, which is your theophany. Now you bypass that because in that form he knows all things and you have never been able to know that yet. And you come like Adam, like me, you became from the attribute of to the flesh. To be tempted, but when this life is finished here, if this earthly tabernacle be dissolved, we have one already waiting. That's where we go, that is the word. That when, uh, that, that then we can look back and see what we done. Now we don't understand it. We have never become the word. So we still never understand it. It's because we have never become the word yet. We've just become the flesh man and not the word. Are you following? So all these, the, all these teachings that you're hearing, this is just the clarification. So, uh, but... And Luke clearly makes it clear. You will never be the word unless you was a thought at the beginning. That proves the predestination of God. So you will never become a word. Not unless you were a thought from the very beginning. Were you part of the thought from the beginning? 
you are part of the thought. Did you get your expression right now on this earth? When you got your expression, then you became part of that word. You became part of that word. Hallelujah. That proves the predestination of God. See, you can't be the word unless you're a thought. You have to be in the thinking first. But you see, in order to stand the patient, you have to bypass the theophany. So the very reason why we bypass the theophany is for you to be tested and to be tempted. Are you following us? In short, you have bypassed your theophany. That's the thing that we want to understand. And you were here for you to be tested and to be tempted. <laughs> so other men, uh, when the sons of God were born, they bypassed the theophany, but they were having the seeds of God. So the first 2,000 years, Man were taken through the race. Of, God is looking through the race of man. That's why he has looked into the race of Adam. He put all that word seed, that germ seed, in the hearts and the souls of Adam's race. After the mixture and the hybriding happened, that has changed again. Because the next 2,000 years, again he looked into the physical race. A physical race, a physical, with a body, a fleshly race. So the first 2,000 years, is he can identify the bloodline of Adam, the Adamic race against the Canaan race, the, 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 the race of Cain. Are you following me? So he was able to identify and place the seeds. So that seed that was placed in the hearts and the souls of his children are just normal seeds. These seeds are the word seed. However, those seeds will never be quickened. It will never be quickened. It's because there is no Holy Ghost yet that time. So, whenever you have that seed, that seed has a life in it. There's a life in that seed. Go back to the monk seed. Remember the monk seed that we used to cook to have the bean sprouts. Remember? Put some water in it and it will become a bean sprout. But for how many ages that it was in the storage of the supermarket? But it remained a seed. But there was a life inside that seed. That has not been quickened. So that seed in the first 2,000 years was placed in the hearts on the race of Adam's race. But it was never quickened. But as long as the seed is there, there is always an urge of life to be expressed. That's why there is a, cry, a crying of expression. Something that wants to go out, but it cannot go out. Because that life will never stop as a life. It will remain as alive, but it wants to get out. That's why there's a cry of expression. Are you following me? 2,000 years, there's a cry of expression. In the next 2,000 years, after the hybrid came, again, God has chosen a nation. So as long as you're in the race of Abraham, <laughs> as long as you're in the race of Abraham, Another physical race. As long as you're in the race of Abraham, you have the seed of God. However, that seed of God, again, has never been quickened. It's because there was no Holy Spirit that time. It is just a physical race. First 2,000 years of physical race. After the hybrid, so far the God can identify, can no longer identify it by the blood. So he said, I have to choose a man that I have seen righteous through his faith. I like, come on, Abraham. I'm going to give you the race. And through your race, I will be putting the seeds. The word seed. That's why he has put the word seed in the race of Abraham. In another fleshly race. In another human race. Of the flesh, physical race. 2,000 years has passed. Again, the world has changed. And he can no longer see the human race is still existing with the word seed of God. Because man has been corrupted. And he says that now I can no longer trust you, man. 
I can no longer trust the human flesh to put my seed in, but I'm going to raise another race, which is the race of God. A totally different race that has never been existing, had never existed before. It is a godly race that I will raise this time, and I will be putting that seed on that race that I will be putting up throughout the ages. It was spread in 2,000 years. Seed after seed after seed. He has placed in the hearts of man. But it is no longer a fleshly race. It is no longer a human race. But another type of race. Which is a man-God race. A God-man race. Are you following us? The mystical church. The mystical body of Christ. And that is the race that he has created in the last 2,000 years. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so the difference between the sons of God. So the difference between the sons of God and the not sons of God. <laughs> sons of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> thou shalt be surely, thou shalt surely die. And thou shalt not surely die. Who used that word not? It's the devil to destroy, uh, to destroy the mankind. So now the difference between the sons of God and the not sons of God, <laughs> we're returning it back to him. <laughs> it's the existence of that germ seed word in the soul. Hallelujah. So religions today teaches that God is a loving God. And it is a, it is a message of love that they have spread everywhere. Love one another. Love one another. God is a God of love. So he can understand all things. So do whatever you want. It's because he is a God of love. <laughs> and he can understand all things. <laughs> that, is, that is what the religion is doing. The, religious, uh, the religion is doing right now. <clears throat> Some beliefs don't even believe that uh, there's a lake of fire. The religions right now, remember we have established the two types of seeds. One, without the seeds, two types of people, two types of human race. <laughs> one with seed of God and one without. <laughs> and that's the same spirit that came out and that's, those are the two vines that existed from the very beginning. And it's still existing until today. The two vines, the good one and the bad one, it will always be there. So, the children of God against the not children of God. Hallelujah. So, these people started teaching too many things. They preach the, the love, gospel, and uh, they, they don't teach uh, hell. It's because that they don't want people to be afraid. <laughs> they don't want people to be afraid of hell. That they can just do whatever they want. Because hell is not existing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And that is what I say. It's what the Bible says. <laughs> he said, do you mean to tell me that a loving heavenly father would burn his children up? Why? Said you wouldn't burn your child? I said, no, sir. Well, then if you as a human has that much love, see how people can twist the thing around. If you as a human have that much love, you think that a loving heavenly father would destroy his children. That's how they're twisting things up. <clears throat> I said, never. He don't destroy his children. But whose child are you? <laughs> he never destroy his children. But whose child are you? Are you a child of God? Are you the child of the enemy? So it's just one or the other. 
he never and never will destroy his children. But earth was never for Satan. And hell was made for Satan and his children. So whose child are you? So that's the question that he gave. Uh, whose child are you? God don't destroy his children. He's trying his best to get them in. But it's the devil that's turned loose will destroy his children. So God just permits Satan. Hallelujah. There's another one. Uh, there's another uh, message that uh, he said now uh, in what you think of Christ. Now that's a very flat thing you have to give to a congregation of people. Yet it must be so. God is going to judge you for your attitude towards Jesus Christ. No man. Hell wasn't made for Christians. Hell was made for unbelievers. And God has did everything that he can to keep people to bypass hell so that you won't have to go there. He sent the law. He sent the prophets. He sent his son. He sent the Holy Spirit. He sent the churches. He sent the hymns. Everything to try to keep you from going to hell. Are you following what Brother Branham is saying? Yeah. <laughs> hell, was not made. hell was not made for people. Hell was created for the devil. And his angels, not for human beings. But if you go, it's because you willfully, you willfully want to go. If you go to, the, to hell, you willfully you have chosen to go to hell. God has already put too many gates, too many warnings. He reminded you, but you still want to go. So if you go to hell because you chose to, it's because you willfully and want to go, and you can't, and you can't go easy. You have to fight your way into it. To go to hell, you have to fight your way into it. Yes. Did you know that? You can go to hell easy. You have to fight your way. <laughs> I used to think when I was a little boy how the first little story you and the little girl either would ever told your mother, there's a conscience there said, do this little, uh, don't do this little boy. Don't do this little boy. That's wrong. Don't do that. Remember when you smoked that little corn silk cigarette out behind the old fireplace and ate some coffee to keep mother from smelling on your breath? <laughs> How many have went through this process? <laughs> have you been smoking? No, mama. <laughs> and the conscience in there say, don't do this. That's wrong. There's something behind that says that don't do it. There's the conscience that holds you not to do things. So there's already a red flag, red sign telling you not to do it. Then uh, uh, you lay you lay there with that and the next, the next uh, this you know, you pass by the church and you hear the hymns. So after the conscience, you pass by the church, you hear the hymns. There's another thing that keeps on reminding you. You hear the preaching afterwards. Telling you not to do it. <laughs> Every red light God flashes before you, you just break. Hallelujah. Every red light... Uh, Every red light God flashes before you, you just break the barriers down and go right on. Don't pay any attention to conscience or nothing else. Then God did send a person to hell. Then God did send a person to hell. No, you sent yourself. <laughs> it is not God who is sending people to hell. You chose to go to hell. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's your chosen. 
And it's so hard to go to hell. <laughs> it is not easy to go to hell. It's because if you went there because you chose to. You choose. You have chosen. If you choose to go, to, to go there, it just proves that you are not a child of God. It just proves that you are not a child of God. There were two seeds from the very beginning. The seed of God. Who were dispersing mankind and only God knows who his seeds are. The tiny seed with germ light crying for the, the expression. Crying for the expression. Hallelujah. Amen. Those people with the germ seed are the eternal uh, came from the eternal thoughts of God. So those people with germ seed came from the eternal thoughts of God that were manifested in flesh. We did not come here. We did not have the seed because of the river that you have. You did not come and receive your seed because of your new birth. You were reborn because of the seed that was in you. Amen. You can never be reborn if you don't have the seed. Are you following me? So there is no rebirth if the seed is not there because it is by election of God. Uh, if you have the seed, then you can be quickened. Are you following me? <laughs> so there are two types of people. One with the seed and one without seed. Two types of people that can come to the church. One with seed and one without seed. If you have the seed and you heard the word of God, that seed will be quickened in you. If that seed has quickened in you, there will be a change in your life. There will be a change in your life. If you come into the church and you do not have the seed from the very beginning, even if you hear the word of God, there is no quickening. There's not, nothing will change. You can just put things into your mind to do good things. You can just put things in your mind to do good things. But it will never last. It's because Satan has dominion over you. But if you have the seed. And that seed has been quickened. Whatever happened. Whatever temptations of the devil. Whatever lies of the devil. It will never prevail. It's because it is God. And his word. That is holding you up. Because, because it's God. That is holding you. Because of the quickening power of that seed. The Holy Ghost is the quickening power in our time. And the seeds right now have been quickened. Which is totally different from the seeds that existed 4,000 years ago. Are you following me? It's not the same as what happened from Adam to Abraham. It's not the same as what happened from Abraham to the time of Jesus Christ. Now the seed is being quickened. That's why there's a different kind of race that exists there. And that is God's race in our time right now. The race of God in our time right now. It's no longer a physical race. But it is a godly race. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is just a manifestation of the thoughts of God from the foundation of the earth. <laughs> Whatever is happening, He has seen you rejoicing. <laughs> he has seen you praising. <laughs> he has seen you singing and clapping and jumping for joy. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Satan has no right to rule the earth. When you receive his dominion, 
Satan become powerless. Powerless in everything. Powerless on this earth. <laughs> That's why you can always say, Get thee behind me, Satan. In the name of Jesus Christ. And he will get out and get lost. <laughs> Satan has no dominion in your souls. Because that God seed, that germ seed has been germitized. And the quickening power came out and became life unto you. That is the importance of new birth, everyone. Remember the importance of new birth. And that is the new birth quickening. You can have the germ seed right now. But you haven't been through the new birth yet. Because the quickening power has not come yet unto you. If that didn't happen yet, it is always, there is always a time for you to tell God, Today, O oh Father, I offer you my life. Amen. There is always a time, as long as God is still looking for that last seed, God can always tell us, It is still open for you, my child. Never doubt yourself. Tell yourself that I was there in the mind of Christ. From the foundation. Part of all the sons of God. All the sons of God. Remember. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you Jesus. So, the title did. When God, the title did is like a will. The title did is like a will. There, we can compare it to a rich man who passed away. And when the rich man passed away, he has started uh, writing down his will. Last will and testament. And uh, I, I have to, at this last day, I have my lawyer with me. The lawyer will be coming and uh, reading the will. This is the first thing that two will be reading the will with me, that lawyer. Okay, I have to call all these names. Who are these? The family of the, the, of the deceased. The family of the deceased, the sons and daughters of the deceased, of the one who died. So he started calling them. Before calling them, they started sending notification to each and every one, sending letters out. So for those people who received the letter, they came. For those people who did not receive the letter, will they come? No. It's because it's not for them. If they receive, they, they did not receive the letter, will they get mad? Do they have the right to become angry? They don't know and they did not receive the letter. And it's not for them. <laughs> so only those people who receive the letter shall come. And once they come, uh, the lawyer will start reading. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, the last will and testament of your father who was deceased. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and uh, he's going to call the name. Are you the son? Yes, I am the son. So you have this portion of his treasure. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Are you the son? Yes, I am the other son. You have the portion of this treasure. Are you the daughter? I am the daughter. So you have the portion of this treasure. And each and everyone will be called according to the portion of his treasure. Are you following me? <laughs> so those who were, not, who, who were not present, it's not for them. And they do not deserve it. It's because from the very beginning, they are not part of the family. They are not part of the family. 
So it's the same thing with God. <laughs> so he has his will and he has his testament. And when he passed away at the cross, he started calling his children. He's going to call his children and to read the will and tell him that whatever your portion will be, will be yours. If you are not a son of God, you will never be called. <laughs> you will never receive the notification. You will never be, you're not supposed to be angry. You're not supposed to be mad if you are not called. It's because from the very beginning, you are not a part of God. <laughs> he never knew you from the very beginning. So when he started calling them, <laughs> Eduardo Bocillon, <laughs> present, <laughs> Michael So, oh, I am there, <laughs> Promise me, <Ipe>. oh. <laughs> Sister King Rodriguez. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> he only calls those people who was in his last will and testament. Who was written in the Lamb's Book of Life from the very beginning. Before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. <laughs> If you are not part, if your name is not written, you will never be called. If your names are written and you are called, stand up and say praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And God is still calling. Right now, calling everyone, calling everyone to be part of this book of life. Calling everyone, calling everyone. When the role is called up yonder, I will be there. I will be there. When the role is called up yonder, I will be there. Sons of God, rejoice. All the sons of God. Rejoicing, all the sons of God, praising all the sons of God. Let me stand this morning. Lord, hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Thank you for the calling, oh Father. Thank you. Thank you for making us know who we are. Thank you, oh Father, for your mind. Thank you, oh Lord, for putting the seed in our souls. Thank you, oh Father, for the quickening power. Thank you, oh Lord. Thank you for the notification. Thank you for calling our names. Thank you, Father, for calling your children and your sons. Thank you, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Continue speaking to us, O oh Lord. Continue speaking to your children. Continue speaking to us, O oh Father. Continue calling, calling us, O oh Lord, into you. Oh, speak, my Lord. You speak, my Lord. You speak, and I will answer thee. You speak, my Lord. Hallelujah, oh Lord. Oh. Thank you, Father, for this morning. Thank you for your children. For the power, the display of your power. You are in our midst. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you for this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's sing you speak, my Lord. You speak, my Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus, for your presence. <laughs> Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Lord, for thinking of us before the foundation of the world. Thank you for your predestination. Oh, thank you for the restoration. Thank you for the dominion of this earth one more time. Oh, thank you for the blood of the Calvary. Thank you, oh Lord, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, oh Father, for calling us as your family. Thank you for the love. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hear the Lord of harvest sweetly calling. And who will go and work for me today? Who will bring to me the loss and dying? And who will point them to the narrow way? Oh, speak, my Lord. You speak, my Lord. You speak, and I'll be quick to answer thee. Oh, speak, my Lord. You speak. Lord, is me can I will answer, Lord, send me. Hallelujah. Oh, when the call of fire touched the prophet and making him as pure as pure can be. Oh, when the voice of God said, We'll go for us. Then he answered, Here I am, send me. Hallelujah. Oh, speak, my Lord. He speak to the hearts of your children today, oh Father. He speak to the hearts, oh Lord. He start calling our names. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, speak, my Lord. You speak, my Lord. You speak, and I will answer, Lord. Send me. Oh, millions now in sin and shame are dying. When listen to their sad and bitter cry. Oh, hasten, brother, hasten to the rescue. When quickly answer, Master, here am I. Oh, speak, my Lord. Oh, speak, my Lord. And speak and I'll be quick till once a day. Oh, speak, my Lord. You speak, my Lord. And speak and I will answer, Lord, send me. Oh, soon the time for repay will be over and that is very soon oh father that is very soon for the harvest fall <laughs> may the lord of harvest smile upon us and may hallelujah child well done child well done my children, child, well done. Oh, speak, my Lord, to us. You speak, our Lord. You speak to us, oh Father. You speak to our hearts this morning. You speak to our hearts, oh Father. Quicken the seed that you have given us before the foundation. Let your Holy Spirit.
Spirit. Let your Holy Spirit take control, oh Father, in each and every soul. Oh, speak my Lord. You speak my Lord. Hallelujah. And speak and I'll be quick to answer thee. Oh, speak my Lord. You speak my Lord. Speak. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the victory. Hallelujah. 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 All praises be to you, O oh Father. All honor be unto you, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for this message. Thank you, Father, for your word. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Father. In closing, let us sing Bodiless of the Lord. Bodiless the Lord. Sir. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, oh glory. Glory. <laughs> Are you happy this morning? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah, Father, thank you, Lord. Oh, there is a soul in times of faith that gives me hope, that brings me peace in every trial. You have never seen us, Father, in trials. You have never seen us in weaknesses, oh Lord. You have never seen us in our sicknesses, oh Father. But you have seen us rejoicing, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Full of joy and gladness. Hallelujah. Oh, when your heart is on. Take courage for the battle is over. Oh, when the waters rise, we call my name. It's with you come out on the way. I should falter when makes me stand out on the water. So when the road you walk, hallelujah. you walk, when the road you walk, lifts you tight and burn, and your strength is gone, and when your heart feels torn, remember God is greater than the storm, take courage for the battle is
Hallelujah, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence, oh God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your blessings, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blessings, oh Father. Hallelujah. In closing, may I call on Brother Promise to close our service this morning. Brother Promise. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name, Lord. Oh. Father, in the full knowledge of your mind, Lord God. You have called us this day, Father. In way back in your thought, Lord. Hallelujah. You have us in your mind, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We hallelujah. thank you, Lord. For this day, Father, Lord. Hallelujah. Thou art known this day, Father. Hallelujah. And thou know that we will be here this day, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Father, hallelujah. Lord Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank blessed you, Lord. be your holy name. Blessed oh, be your holy thank name. You, thank you, Father, we love you, Lord. Father, we bless you, Lord. Thank Lord, we Lord. lift you up this morning, this afternoon, Lord. Hallelujah, oh, it is Father. your doing, Lord. It's marvelous Hallelujah. in our eyes, Lord. Hallelujah. This is the day you have made, Lord. Hallelujah. And we are rejoicing, Lord. We are rejoicing, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless your name, Father. Oh, Father, you're restoring us back to our dominion, Lord. Restoration of all God back to our dominion, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, Lord, we're restored, being restored this morning, Lord. Oh, oh Father, for us to know, Father. Oh, oh Father, that we have the title, thee, Father. Lord, that we have the title, thee, Father. That we are called, Lord. That we are called out of the loudest share, Lord. Oh, Father, Lord, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, how we thank you, Lord. I will thank you for this wonderful message, Lord. Oh, this is the message of the hour, Lord. This is the message that we believe, Lord. This is the message that we preach, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. We're so grateful, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord God. Oh, for bringing us this food, oh God. In due season, Lord. In this time, Lord. It is indeed a right time, Father. For this, oh God, message, Father. To remind us, Lord. Oh, Father, now way back, Lord. Way back before the foundation of the war. You already knew us, Lord. And planted us, Lord. As seeds, Lord. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord, this afternoon, Lord. Thank you for using our pastor mightly, Lord. What can we say, Father? Lord, it's you, Lord God. What can we say, Father, Lord? It's you, Lord, Lord. It's you, Lord, Lord. Lord in his no God speaking to us Lord thank you for this wonderful message Lord thank you Jesus Lord bless us the more Father Lord God bless your people oh God for each and every one of us this day Father Lord let's come to that realization Father Lord that we are thy son Lord oh we already predestinated Lord before the foundation of the world so whatever the enemy try to tell you this day oh my Tell the servant, get thee behind me. Get thee behind me, Satan. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Because hallelujah. I am going out the way. Because I'm going out the way to be with the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going out the way to shout in glory. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. oh how we love you, Lord. Oh, how we thank you, Lord. I will bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be thy wonderful name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, precious heavenly Father, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Father oh, Jehovah, Lord, God. for your love in our lives, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, you came down, Lord God, and died for us, Lord. Father, Lord God. Oh, and handed that title this to us, Lord. Oh, as now we can walk, oh God. Walk with our boldness, Lord. Because we know our Father. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you for restoring back, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, restoring back, Lord. Oh, restoring it back, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for the restoration, Lord. Because we know this is the restoration of the bride's tree, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful message, Lord. 
Father, we have nothing to say more, Lord. You've preached to us, Lord. Father, let it sink in our hearts, Lord. Let it sink deep in our soul, Father. Oh, let's go on, Lord God, in this world, Lord, knowing that we are peculiar people, knowing that we are separated people, oh, that we are chosen people. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for choosing us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, for predestinating us, oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Oh, we love you, we love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. Father, they say, Father, thank you, Lord God. Bless our pastor, Lord. Father, virtue has gone out of him, Father, Lord. Father, may you replenish him, Father. Oh, God, may you refill him, Lord. Father, will you bless him the more? Thank you, Lord Jesus. We're thanking you every day, Father, for bringing us, oh God, your servant, Lord. Oh God, to always bring these words to us, Lord, through thee, Father, Lord God. We are so grateful, Lord. We're so blessed, Lord. We're so blessed this day, Father, to be receiving this message of the hour, Lord. Oh, where all people have gone astray, Father. Where the world has gone into denomination, Lord God. There is yet another man, Lord, saying no. Saying no. I'm going to hold on to the word. I'm going to hold on to what the prophet say. Come what man. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we are blessed to be here this day, Father. Thank you, Father. Bless him the more, Lord. Bless his family, Lord. Oh, bless his children, Lord. Bless his wife, Lord. Father, bless this church today, Father. Bless the congregation today, Father. Oh, may anointing fuel the building, Father, Lord. Oh, like there, Lord God. Father, in the in the post, Lord. Father, Lord God, when the, uh, when the uh, disciples were praying, Father. Oh, Father, and we're praying, Lord. And your spirit dropped down. Drop down in among us, Lord. And fill us with our spirit, Lord. Fill us with our love, Lord. That quickening power, Lord. That Holy Spirit, Lord. That quickening source, Lord. That quickening source, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, be with us today, Lord God. We love you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for uh, the bread in here, Father. We thank you for uh, the, the, your people this day, Father. For, oh God, bringing us to this position, Father. To this point, Lord. Father, restoring us back, Lord. Back to the Bible, Lord. Back to the beginning, Father. Way back before the world began. Thank you, Father, Lord. For we were there. In Elohim's mind, we were there, oh, shouting for joy, shouting with you, Lord, shouting in glory, Lord. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, we are about to go out from you, this praise, Lord, but certainly not from your presence, Lord. We pray that make your presence be with us, Lord. Let your presence be everlasting in us, Lord. Oh, Father, Lord, be with us, Lord. Oh, God, as we go to our respective homes, Lord. Bless us as we go, Father, Lord. Bless our, 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 our loved ones, Lord. Father, is a promise to us, Lord, that you're going to restore back, Lord, all the years that the can come off has eaten, all the years that the Holocaust has eaten, you're going to restore back. Oh, Lord, this is the year, Father, of Jubilee, Father. This is the year, oh God, of Jubilee, Father. Oh, when the lame shall walk and the blind shall see. Oh, Father, Lord, thank you for the restoration, Father. For the restoration ministry, Father, that you brought to us today, Father. Bless us, oh God, as we go, Lord, on our, on our homes, Lord. But certainly not from your presence, Lord. Bless your people, Lord God. Bless the sick among us, Lord. Heal the sick among us, Lord. Father, Lord God, it is a promise, Lord. You're going to heal the sick and raise the day, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, Father. Bless each and every one of us, Lord. You know our individual hearts, Lord. Father, meet our needs, Lord. Meet each and every one of our needs, Lord. According to the point on our needs, Lord God. Father, Lord God, will you bless us, Lord. Thank you because we know you've answered our prayers, Lord. Because we ask it believing that you've heard our prayers, Lord. Because we ask it in the much name of our Master King, Jesus Christ's name, we pray and ask it. Hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father. 
those who want to continue praising God, just continue praising God. Hallelujah. Our service has ended. May God bless you all.